Welcome back to Good Day Sacramento. I'm Halisa Ortiz, hanging out this morning with a local business, the folks behind Yarn Picks. I love this because, you know, we are all about the Kings right now. I love how so many businesses have really rallied behind the Kings, really creating new things, fun things inspired by the Kings. I like these. How cute are these little plushies? You see the little purple dragon here, and they've got a little mushroom keychain a little ice cream cone and how adorable is this bumblebee so cute these are all part of yarn picks and i've got mandy and michael and michael's actually showing us how it's done so cool i love this i asked you how did you guys decide on coming up with something for the kinks and you said super last minute <laughs> yeah we were invited to a very last minute event yeah and we we made a dragon that was purple and gray i love it and love we posted it. it on tiktok and we got some some positive reactions you know what? That's always a plus, right? That is always a plus. So cute. Uh, these, again, are just a few of the items that you guys have created for yarn picks. This was something that was a hobby of yours, knitting, crocheting, that you then turned into a, this business. That's correct. Um, we took a business class, and it made us visualize um, turning hobbies into businesses. Uh -huh and it's been visualized. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but the other cool thing is that you guys are all about protecting the earth, right? Being eco-friendly in all aspects of this business. Absolutely. We've made a lot of changes over our year of business. Yeah. We've gone from acrylic plastic yarns uh -huh. to cotton and bamboo and tensile. Yeah. We've swapped from the polyfillers to like a bean fluff called uh -huh. KPOC. Huh. We just, um, every opportunity we can get, we're trying to become more eco-friendly as a business. I that you can be creative and also be eco-friendly at the same time. So these are so cute, you guys. These are little keychains. You've got some magnets over there and just some cute plushies. And the other cool thing, you guys have obviously made all of these, but they also have the kits. You know, I love ah. me a kit. So you guys actually teach people how to crochet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. We have online tutorials so you can follow along. Uh -huh. And the hardest part is starting, so we have them pre-started for you. Oh, I like that. So um, Michael was actually just showing this. He, I mean, he. I mean, obviously he's a pro, right, compared to someone like me. But he literally did that in about two seconds. But this is what comes in the kit, right? So this is the bumblebee. So this is what it'll look like when it's all done, right? And they've got all the instructions and a video. Um, and they've got the needle and the thread that you would need. So they're the yarn, I should say, that you would need. So cool. Show me that little starter so I can give people an idea. So they kind of help you out to get going. That's the toughest part, right? So um, it's that the starter ring um, that lets you kind of get going from there. Ah, uh, very cool. Uh -huh. What's your most popular item here? Easily the turtles. The turtles. Yes, the turtles. People have a thing for turtles. Right? <laughs> really I like and it helps when we make it out of kelp yarn. <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so we've got all of our purple pieces though ready to go for Kings tonight. I, I like, like it. They do have a pop up. You guys have a pop up coming up soon? Right, that's a uh, Foodie Land at Cal Expo. Fantastic. All right, so you can find them there. And of course, on all their social media platforms, which we've got linked up to ours at GoodDaySacramento.com. Well, Mandy and Michael, thank you so much. Yarn Picks is the name. So cute. So you can get a little creative, mm -hmm. learn maybe a new hobby yeah. while you're watching the Kings game, if you'd exactly. like. Exactly. You got to do something with those nervous hands. You're like, what do I do? Exactly. Ah, that's a good idea. Thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs>